Hey everybody, it's Marshmunk here. It's going to be my Heroes Reborn, Season 1, Episode 4 of your Rundown. Now, like I said before, before we get started, I just want to say, like I said, I'm not really good at Heroes or Heroes Reborn, so if there's something that I say that's wrong in this video or whatever, please address it very nicely down in the comments below, and please do not yell at me, um, just because I don't really know much about the series or about the original series, but I am going to try to run this down as good as possible, so let's get started. Okay, so starting with the characters, I'm going to start first with, um, Noah, and I can't, I still can't remember his name. Comment down below what the guy with the big beard's name is. I think it's like, I think it starts with like a Q or something like that, but I don't even know. So I, I always call him Mr. Beard, just because I don't remember his name. So Mr. Beard and Noah, we're starting off with them. They get some help with Erica, you guys, uh, well not Erica, but Erica's daughter. You guys know who Erica is, she's the one who's helping with Renatus, Epic Machine, and all that jazz. Um, so she, her daughter, is the one that's helping them with what's going on, uh, in this episode. So, they run into Harris, Mr. Harris, whose clones are just crazy. They end up killing off the clones. They end up going into the room. They find a bunch of Evos, including Erica's daughter's boyfriend. If you guys remember her boyfriend? Yeah, he's in there. Um, and, I, and Molly Walker's in there, too. Molly Walker ends up committing suicide. That's one of a really cool moment that we saw that's really crazy. She ends up killing herself. Uh, it, it, that's good, because that sets back the epic machine. Um, like uh, Erica said in the episode, that's the mom, Erica, the mom. Um, like she said, now we can't find the, lo the exact location of the Evos, which is good. So I was kind of worried right now. I was like, so if they had this machine that tracks down the exact location of Evos... That pretty much means you're going to kill everybody in the show. Because everybody in the show is an Evo. So, I'm glad that now we know that that's not going to happen. The machine is now set back because of Molly Walker's death. And they said that there was, like, another one. Another possible one in, like, the Arctic Circle. Or, no, Canada, I think. is what they said. But that's the blonde girl. The blonde girl with the invisible lady. They are in Canada. I'm going to talk about them at the end. Because I don't really know what's going on with them. But we're going to talk about them in the end. Um, so yeah, let's run down Tommy real quick. You guys know Tommy, my fave character. He's the best. He is the best son ever. Like, do you know what they do to Evos? They basically kill Evos every day. He is the best son. So what happened is, of course, we know about the car accident. Um, so they go to the hospital. Uh, the, his mom needs to have a blood transfusion thing going on. Um, Tommy's, you know, Tommy has to teleport. He teleports with Blondie. I, I still can't remember any of their names. But except for, like, Tommy. Uh, I got Luke down. I know his name now. Noah. All that stuff. But anyway, Tommy teleports with his girlfriend, maybe, kind of, sort of, uh, to get more blood from another hospital. They come back. Everyone's waiting for him. That nurse, though. That nurse, though. She's so nice. Like, she could have turned him in. She doesn't mind Evos. She doesn't care. She's just nice to kid children. Um, anyway, Tommy gets caught, of course. They find out he's an Evo because of the blood test. They get him. They catch him. I don't think they're going to kill him. Obviously, we see him in the next episode. And obviously, he's going to do some stuff with the others to save the world. So he's not going to die. But I don't know if they're going to, like, imprison him for a little bit. It doesn't seem like it in the promo for the next episode. But you never know. Um, so, yeah, that was a fun story. I really, I really just think Tommy's story so far is really cool. Um, then we go on to, let's see, who's next? I'm going to talk about Miko. And Ren first, then I'm going to get on to uh, um, Luke, then I'm going to get on to Carlos, and then I'm going to get on to the two ladies in Canada. So many people in this show. Uh, Alright, so let's go on to Luke. So Luke and Joanne, I think that's her name, right? Joanne? Joanna? Something like that? Joe? Let's just call her Joe. Uh, Joe, and oh my gosh, the camera's falling down. It's going down. I'm yelling Timber, no. Um, Luke, obviously, we know is an Evo. He has the powers of, like, some kind of fiery sun bursting thing. He looks like, I don't even know. Um, it's crazy. Like, Joanne, are you crazy? You're just murdering every Evo you can. Bang, bang, bang. It's like, uh, what are you? Just like the sequel to Bang Bang, the song? Like, I don't even know. You're just killing everyone. Like, I, I thought it was crazy how... She's definitely changed. Obviously, we, we get a sense they had a son. We really haven't dove too much into any of the characters' past. Because there's so many characters. I feel like there are so many characters in the show that we don't get to explore each and every character, like, fairly. If you guys know what I'm talking about. There's so many characters, so many stories. And one of the most biggest complaints about the show is that the stories aren't connected yet. I'm kind of a little bit, you know, I'm kind of complaining about that too. I feel like they need to connect it a little bit sooner. Um, just because... I want, 
either that or kill off a lot of the characters. Because I feel like right now there's so many characters we can't explore each character. Because there's so many of them. And we really don't have time to, you know, kind of explore each one of them. So far I think the characters we've explored most are Noah and Mr. Beard and their story. Uh, Tommy, we kind of got a little bit of a backstory with him running and moving with his mom. So I feel like those kind of, those few characters. But other than that, we really don't know much about any of the others. But anyway... So Luke ends up revealing that he's a metahuman to Joanne. Joanne ends up leaving. Luke ends up, uh, I think, going the other way, separate way. Um, so yeah, the, so they're kind of on tense. I think that she'll come back. I think she'll want to kill him at some point, maybe. That's a possibility. We don't know yet. It's a possibility. Um, so anyway, moving on. Let's move on to who's next. I can't even remember. I can't even keep even keep track of all of them. Uh, Carlos. Carlos is next. So Carlos... Um, he improved his suit this uh, episode. I think his name's Carlos. I'm not really sure. But he improved his suit this episode, which is really cool. He's got this really cool armor-looking weird suit. Not exactly Batman status, but we're getting... Uh, not exactly Batman status. See what I did there? Not exactly Batman status, but we're getting there with the suit. I feel like it looks really cool. It looks cool. I'm not really down with it yet, but I'm getting there. Um. Anyway... He ends up taking the suit to the next level. Uh, he gets, he has the mask and everything like that. Everything's going good right now. He fixes up his car. I feel like the car is going to be some kind of Batmobile for him. Interesting enough. Uh, then the kid, I don't remember the kid's name, but I'm just going to call him... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call him. I'll call him Heroes Reborn Shadow Cat, because he can go through things. Get it? See what I did there? You guys know what Marvel is. You'll know what that is. Um, no, but I'm being weird. Anyway, so the kid that can go through things, he was in this episode, he found out about the lair, he found out about the vigilante. I feel like this kid is gonna read too much into it, he's gonna be like, my dad's a vigilante, it's like your dad's dead, um, your uncle's a vigilante. I think he's gonna get too much into that. The priest isn't dead, but they captured him, so he'll probably die. Um, but yeah, everything's going good, good so far, um, for that story. Ooh, what's next? I feel like there's so many stories, like I said, I can't go through all of them. Um, the last one is Canada, what's going on in Northeastern, or I think it was Northwestern or Eastern. I can't remember. What's happening in Canada with the two? So the Invisible Lady and Blondie, the, the other Blondie, Blondie 2, um, end up having their powers revealed to some stranger. She ends up knocking him out, the Invisible Lady. Um... And they're, they're involved in something. They're gonna, they're probably gonna be the reason why everything gets connected in the end. I feel like Noah and them will be, like, why, why, like, every story connects in the end. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I don't know how I feel about them yet. I feel like they kind of went to the party too late, and I feel like it's like we can't really get to know them. I, like I said, there's so many characters. The biggest complaint, actually, one of the biggest complaints for me of the show is that we don't get to explore the characters. I feel like that's the one big problem. I feel like Heroes Reborn... Either make a full series or don't. That's all I gotta say for it. Like, the some miniseries on TV are good and can be explained very well. This one cannot. I feel like they should have picked a full length series or just not do it at all. Because the miniseries part of it, that's probably why we're not getting as much as we want is because of the mini part. There's only gonna be 13 episodes, and so far they have not been the best. So, like I said, either do a full-length series or just get out of the way. I feel like that's that's the biggest thing right now on TV is that you gotta be cutthroat to be on TV. Like, there's so many amazing TV shows out there these days that your show has to be one of the best to be recognized. So I feel like they have to do a full-length series to make sure that we get everything out of the experience. We gotta get to know all the characters. We gotta get to know the, all the storylines, the backstories. And I feel like this series is not doing that very well. So that's one of the big complaints I have for it. Also, but the stories are not connected yet. I feel like we have so much time. I feel like we need to connect them, or at least a few of them. So, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Miko and Ren. I didn't like their story this episode. It was really weird. The whole American phone thing and all that junk. Um, everything's going into place with them as well. They're trying to still get back her father. I don't know how they're going to connect with the others. Um, she ends up being Katana Girl. I don't think she's the real Katana Girl. Maybe she is. I don't know. I don't even understand. It's weird. Um, anyway, all the fans of Ren show up. Uh, that taxi driver, though... You guys know what the taxi driver said in this episode. Anyway, um, no, but really, uh, I think Miko and Ren's story is not the best. I don't really like it, so we're gonna have to see what happens with them, but 
I don't know. I think, like, Ren might die or something like that. I don't know. To make it more compelling of a story. Um, anyway, other than that, it was really good. Overall, like I said, the show, not so great. Um, 13, the 13 episode thing. Everything else is pretty good. We're not really exploring the characters, which is another thing I don't like. Another thing I don't like is that the, con the stories aren't connected yet. I feel like those will happen in the next few episodes, and that will get that. Um, overall, it was, it was a pretty good episode. It's a pretty good episode overall. Um... So, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, so, updates. Here's a big update. If you guys are new to this channel, if you guys are just now watching my first video, this is your my first video that you guys are watching. Or, if you're a subscriber and you already know about me, you might not know about my vlog channel. I do a vlog every Saturday. It's called Saturday Vlogs. Uh, it's on my vlog channel called MM Reactions. And I'm going to be doing another vlog tomorrow. Just wanted to inform you guys. So, if you guys don't know about my vlog channel, I'll put that link in the links up there. Uh, so you guys can uh, watch it and maybe even subscribe. Because there's a, lot, a bunch of subscribers of you guys here. But there's not really a lot over there. So if you guys can get you guys to go over there and subscribe to that, that would be fun too. And you guys can get an inside portal to what I do when I'm not making these videos. Um, anyway, other than that, there's also some more videos up there that you guys can go check out. There's also the playlist for Here's Reborn. Uh, down there in my description, there's my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Vine. Don't forget to follow those uh, to be updated and all that junk. Um, and that's pretty much it. So all I gotta say now is like if you have this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And that's actually not all I have to say. Invisible Sister. <laughs> Invisible Sister is tonight as long with, along with uh, Girl Meets World and Descendants Wicked World. I'll be live tweeting for all those. Or at least I hope to live tweet for all those. So don't forget to follow my Twitter for that. Um... Now that we've got that out of the way, like if you have this video, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.